Okay, continuing on section 8.6, part A, um, ending with part A and starting with part B. Uh, let me get my calculator out, and we are now doing examples using our program and on our calculator uh, called the apps key. Now we have this scenario involving cars, because we're talking about cars. Suppose you decide to buy a car for $28,635, including tax and license fee. You save $6,000 for a down payment and a five-year car loan for six and eighty-eight hundredths percent. Calculate your monthly payments. All right. So here, our first step is to find the loan amount, which we know as our present value. So our present value is a vehicle cost minus down payment. Right, so our loan amount, which is our present value, is the 28635 minus the 6000 down payment. So what we're, our loan amount is going to be uh, 20, well, it's 22635. All right, so we're going to do it in the calculator in case Alma made an error. 22635. All right, so this is our PV. That's our first step. Our next step is to fill out the window values. All right. So, uh, we know it's a five-year monthly payments at an interest of six and eighty-eight hundredths with a present value of twenty-two six thirty-five. Making sure I have all the values right. A zero here, a zero here, twelve and twelve, because they are monthly payments. All right, so here we go. Now that I've done that part, I'm going to go to our apps key. I'm going to enter on finance and enter on TDM solver. So I do the five times the 12, a six and 88 hundredths, a 22, 635, zero, zero, and 12 and 12. So I'm going to go on the payment and do the Alpha enter. Well, that's solved. All right. So let's do it. Alpha enter. And my amount is four, four, six, decimal, nine, one, nine, seven, blah, blah, blah. We need two decimal places. Four, four, six, nine, two. That is our monthly payment. That's all I've asked. Well, let's do another one. And make sure we have what we need. Uh, this has a lot of language, so we have incentive A and incentive B involved here. So let's see what we have. Suppose you decide to buy to buy a car for fifty-five thousand dollars.
including tax and license fees. You save 10,000. Uh, for the down payment. The dealer, oh, what a typo. The dealer is offering you a choice between two incentives. Incentive A, incentive B. Right. Let's see what we have. Incentive A is $3,000 off the price of the car, followed by three-year loan at seven and fifty-nine hundredths percent with a three-year. All right. Uh, okay. So we're going to first find the cost of the vehicle. And for Incentive A, We're taking off a 3,000. All right, so let's put our tap in, our I percent, our PV, our PMT, our FV, our PY, and CY. All right, so our tap in is three years, times 12, our percent is 7 and 59 hundredths percent, okay, and our present value is the 45,000 minus the 3,000, now you can do that math or have the calculator do it, one or the other, our payment is zero, our future value is zero, 12 and 12 because they're monthly payments. All right, so here we go. We're going to move up here, and we're going to do 3 times the 12. And then we're doing the 7 and 59% without changing to a decimal. Our present value is 45, 1, 2, 3, minus the 3. Of course, we get the 42, our 0. 0, 12, and 12 is what we have. So we're at the payment, and we're going to do an alpha N. Alpha. And I see I get the one three zero eight decimal one nine seven eight blah blah blah. So this means that my monthly payment is one thousand three hundred eight dollars and twenty cents. All right. Now we're doing incentive B. So. Um, we're going to draw a line there. I will work on that. And this is incentive A. Incentive B. Says B does not have a cash rebate, but provides free financing, no interest over the three years. What is the difference in the monthly payments? All right. So this means that we have N. Actually, we can do it on the home screen. It says, uh, does not have a, but provides free financing for three years. So we can have the $45,000 is what the vehicle is um, worth. And we're dividing by the uh, three years times 12 because there's no interest uh, in and no uh, no issue on that so let's see what we get screen it's 
next one is a monthly payment of $12.50. Okay, so what is the difference in monthly payment between the two offers? Which incentive is the better deal? All right, so uh, if you notice the monthly payment uh, with the interest was $13.08 and with the interest free and without the $3,000 down, uh, it is $12.50. So, So we've got the 130820 minus the 1250. All right. And it's $58. All right, then they asked, um, which incentive is better deal? Well, it seems logical to me. If we're not paying any interest and we're paying for three years, that incentive be And with this being 42,000, okay, because you gave them a 3,000 uh, extra, the interest rate was so high that incentive B is the better deal. All right, we're almost done with this section. And then uh, we'll do homework and the exam. So let me make some room here. Suppose you drive 30,000 miles per year and gas averages four per gallon. What will you save in the annual fuel, fuel expense by owning a hybrid car averaging 30 miles per gallon and an SUV averaging nine miles per gallon? All right, so how would we uh, approach this? We know that our miles per year average 30,000. Gas costs for dollars. All right. So, and uh, for uh, the hybrid, at 30 miles per gallon, and for the SUV, at nine miles per gallon. All right. So we need to first find out how many uh, how many miles per gallon uh, go in to thirty thousand to figure out how much uh, how many gallons we use. I better not use shorthand. All right. So, of course, that's a little division. So we're going to take the 30,000, this is for the hybrid SUV, 30,000, and we're going to divide by the 9 miles per gallon, I'm sorry, 30, sorry about that, I jumped the gun. 
Now this one, we're doing the 30,000 and dividing by the 9. All right. So in this case, uh, we're going to have... Uh, 33 and a third for this guy. And for this guy, we're going to have 1,000. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I forgot a zero on that. Oh. Sorry about that. on the top one. Room. There I go. All right. So uh, let's see what we have on this. That's what we have. Now our B part, we're going to figure out um, what you save in annual fuel owning a hybrid. So now we're going to do the cost for gas hybrid we used 1,000 gallons times four dollars per gallon approximately so that one is four thousand dollars for the SUV we're doing I'm going to do this as a fraction um, so that we get uh, what we need all right so um, One, uh, 10,000 divided by three. Times the four. So we get an accurate. Uh, so, oh, well, it's not going to give me what I need, is it? So let's go ahead and do the uh, 40,000. Divided by three. It's approximately one three 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 four threes and thirty three. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now we need the difference. And we're going to do decimal three three minus four thousand. All right, now, if you deposit your monthly fuel savings, oh, monthly, so now we're going to divide, um, we have the difference. Now we're going to take the 9, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and divide by 12, which is monthly savings. All right, 
So we're going to take that number and divide by the 12 for the monthly savings of $777.78. So we're going to take that monthly, uh, uh, each month, in an annuity that pays 5 and 6 cents compounded monthly. How much will you have saved at the end of 8 years? So oh, this is an annuity. That means payments. So I have my N, which is 8 times 12. Oh, wait, that's too big. Just a minute. I did an error there. This is yearly. Or year. Yes, that's correct. I just divided by 12 for more. It just, it's going to be a lot of money because if SUV is nine miles per gallon, you should turn it on, you've got a gas thing. Oh, it's terrible. Our present value is zero. Our payment is 777 uh, at 78. Uh, okay, and then our uh, future value, zero. P, Y, C, Y, R, 12. So, that's a lot. Just, okay, so we're going to go to our apps key, finance, TDM solver, uh, 8 times the 12 at 5 and 6 tenths percent, 0 on present value, Seven 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 ninety eight or seventy eight. Sorry. Future value twelve and twelve. So we're going to go in the future value because we're talking annuity, alpha enter, and we would say nine three nine two five. Oh, one, oh, oh, two cents. So, uh, making choices. That's all this is about. This is a ridiculous problem. Nobody buys an SUV, but they might buy a truck that gets that amount. I know my daughter has a uh, Armada, and it's about 12 miles per gallon. Uh, it's a big car. It's a V8. So, um, gas is very expensive. So, we've learned a lot, and we have ended our Chapter 8, Finance. I need you to do the homework. If you have any issues or problems, let me know. Thank you very much.